Okay, now I am going to teach you how to arrange the fractions in ascending or descending order. Now, for that we need to compare the fractions. For comparing the fractions, we have to convert them into like fractions. Okay, now for converting them into like fractions, first of all we need to find the LCM of the denominators. Before we do that, we have to check the fractions. If any fraction is in mixed number, mixed fraction form, then convert it into improper. Like here we can see this fraction is the mixed fraction. So we convert it into the improper fraction. So this set of fraction becomes 2 upon 3, 3 upon 4, now this will be 7 ones are 7 plus 4 11 that is 11 upon 7 and this will remain as it is. So we have these four fractions now okay. Now first step is to find the LCM of the denominators. So denominators let us write it is 3, 4, 7, 5. And we find their LCM. It, it will go by 2. So we start by 2. This will be 3 as it is because it cannot be divided. This will be 2. 2 will give you 4. 7 comes down as it is. 5 comes down as it is. Now again it can be divided by 2. This will be 3. This will be 1, this will be 7 as it is, 5 as it is. Now it will go by 3. This will be 3, 1's are, 1 comes down, 7 as it is and 5 as it is. Now by 5, this is 1, 1, 7, this will be 1. Now by 7. 1, 1, 1, 1. So LCM that will be 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. When we multiply all these, what answer we get is 420. Okay, so the LCM is 420. Now it means the new, new denominator for each of these fractions will be 420. Now for converting into like fractions, I hope you all remember you have to divide this LCM by the denominator. Whatever quotient you get, that quotient will be multiplied by the numerator to get the new numerator so let us do with for one fraction at a time for the first one now for the first one that is 2 upon 3 for this one the denominator is 3 so what we do we divide the LCM by this 3 and what we get that is 140 now second step is to multiply this 140 by the numerator that is 2. So 2 upon 3 now will become the new fraction will be 2 multiplied by this quotient upon the LCM. Okay. So this will give you 280 upon 420. Okay. Let us see the second fraction. Second fraction is 3 upon 4. So we divide 420 by 3. That will give us, sorry, divide by 4. I am sorry here, divide by 4. So that will give you 105. Okay, now. This fraction 3 upon 4 will become 3 multiplied by 
105 upon the LCM. That will give you 315 upon 420. Now let us do this with the fourth fraction. For, sorry, third fraction that is 11 upon 7. So when we divide 420 by 7, we get 60. So now 11 upon 7 will become 11 multiplied by 60 upon the LCM. That will be 660 upon 420. Let us see which is what is the fourth fraction now. 1 upon 5 is the fraction. So when we divide 420 by 5, what we get is 84. So 1 upon 5 will become 1 into 84 upon 420. That will be 84 upon 420. Now you can see all these are like fractions. Okay, so in place of this we have got this one. In place of 3 upon 4 we have this. In place of 11 upon 7 we have this one. In place of 1 upon 5 now we have 84 upon 420. Now by for arranging these we can easily do we simply have to see which is the smallest numerator if we have to arrange in the ascending order so let us now arrange this in ascending order now ascending order you all know means small to big so the smallest fraction here which you can see is this one. That is 84 upon 420. Bigger than that here is 280. 280 upon 420. Next is 315 upon 420. And the fourth one you can see this one is 660 upon 420. But these were not the actual fractions. So for getting the final answer we will write the actual fractions. What does this represent? Now this was for 1 upon 5. So it will be 1 upon 5. Now, 280 upon 420, this one, it was for the fraction 2 upon 3. Now, 315, this one, it was for 3 upon 4, 3 upon 4. And the last one, this 660 upon 420, it is for 11 upon 4, but 11 upon 4, if you remember, was for this one. 1 whole 4 upon 7. In the answer, you will always write the actual one. Okay? So, it will be 1 whole 4 upon 7. Now, if you have to arrange in descending order, do just the opposite of it. Okay? In Descending order, we need to arrange from big to small. Now, the biggest fraction was 660 upon 420, then 315 upon 420, then 280 upon 420, and 84 upon 420. So the answer will be finally this one. Okay, so this will be 1 whole 4 upon 7. Then for this one, here you can see 3 upon 4. For this it was 
2 upon 3 and for this one it was 1 upon 5. Okay. Let us take one more example. Okay. Now you can see these fractions here. These are all either prop, uh, all proper fractions. No mixed fraction here. So we simply take out the LCM. Now LCM here of the denominators 7, 6, 42, 8. Okay. Now the LCM will be, it will go by 2. This will be 7. This will be 3. This will be 21. This will be 4. Now again by 2, 7, 3, 21 and 2. Again by 2, 7, 3, 21 and 1. Now it can be divided by 3. 7, 1, 7, 1. By 7 now. 7 ones are 1 as it is, 1s are 1 as it is. So LCM, that will be the product of all these. That will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. That will give you 168. Okay, so the LCM now will be the denominator for the new fractions which we will be forming. Let us see one by one. Okay. Now you already know the way of doing it, how it is to be done. So the first one, first fraction is 3 upon 7. So what we do, we divide the LCM by this denominator. Okay. So it will be 168 divided by 7 that will give you 24. So 3 upon 7 will become 3 into 24 upon the LCM that will give you 72 upon 168. Second one that is 5 upon 6. Okay for this Divide the LCM by its denominator. Okay. 6. That will give you 28. Now 5 upon 6 will become 5 into 28 upon the LCM here. Okay. Now this will be 140 upon 168. Okay. Now let us see the third one. Third is 1 upon 42. So we divide the LCM by 42 and what we get the quotient is 4. So 1 upon 42 will become 1 into 4 upon 168 that will give you 4 upon 168. Similarly, we convert the last fraction 6 upon 8 also into like fraction. So, 168 divided by 8 that will give you 21 and now 6 upon 8 will become 6 into 21 upon 168. That will give you 126 upon 168. Now we all know the uh, like fractions here. Now we arrange them in ascending and descending order. Okay. So, for ascending order, okay, 
Now from smaller to bigger. The smallest fraction I can see is this. 4 upon 168. Then it is 72 upon 168. And then next is 126 upon 168. And now 140 upon 168. But for answer we will be writing the actual fractions okay now the actual fractions for this it was this one 1 upon 42 for this one it is 3 upon 7 for this one it is 6 upon 8 and for this one it is 5 upon 6 so we get the answer do the opposite for descending order. Okay, now in the reverse order, the highest first. So you have 140 upon 168. Then you have 126 upon 168. Then you have 72 upon 168 and lastly you have 4 upon 168 but this is not the answer. We have to write the fractions which were actually given to us. So for this it is 5 upon 6. For this one it is 6 upon 8. For this one it is 3 upon 7 and for this one it is 1 upon 42. So this is your answer.